quote unquote empire bigger or and that would make sense all right and because the alternative is just relying on the players to have their own block trading com uh, economy but maybe that would be a little too hard as in because we're trying to make sure that because there's going to be more explosions or more loss in battles we probably have to like try offset by by having getting actual building blocks much easier unless we're going to have machines for getting building blocks other than cobblestone I mean that is the plan yes uh, in addition to the cobblestone generator we were having a planning on adding a quarry since it shares a lot of the mechanics of a cobblestone generator in the first place All right. um especially since we did not want to re-add buildcraft knowing how well that was uh previously uh -huh. even though the idea <laughs> of a quarry was pretty good buildcraft's optimization leaves a lot to be desired unless it's All better right. than 1.12 i don't know if someone wants to check that I mean, we can always test it on, like, maybe a test server. Because uh, in terms of other player. machines, we have... Uh, we are going to re-add a uh, macerator, actually. So there's going to be a macerator that there's actually a model for that. Um, Doroth has been uh, continuously requesting a chemical plant, so that's somewhere on the priority list. Uh, <laughs> uh, my idea... Generator. <laughs> My idea was for an assembly line, which would basically have uh, automated crafting. That this one I like. Clayinator. I mean, I guess they can add something for clay as well. Um, regarding that, um, I think uh, either was it Carl or someone uh, requested for uh, some key trades to be well, not trades, but recipes to be added to the furnace. Since originally the furnace just doubled whatever input you gave it, but that had a lot of unatten unintentional side effects of uh, infinite cobblestone if you smelted the cobblestone into stone and then broke it again. Yeah, someone unfortunately found that out. That's That was pretty sad. <laughs> well, I mean, regarding the other crafters, um, maybe we could uh, have weapons have like a certain... Uh, crafting so you need to make weapon parts for example a bolt a rifle barrel pistol grip etc etc i mean that could work but since we don't have keep inventory that also sounds expensive exactly Which so that could work for we could we could have that either for like top tier guns if we don't want to limit guns to certain factions we can have the most expensive guns you know cost more to craft and all that yeah but it would and depend on which spot potentially like have some sort of durability not that guns would break after a certain percentage but it would require some sort of upkeep in order to remain reliable i oh, suggested like a while back i remember that that i suggested the weapons can jam yeah if you don't clean them yeah that sounds great yeah like, I like I that. just have like a uh, weapon oil i guess maybe a cleaning kit just like what stalker did and just clean your weapons yeah let me just send the relevant image to darth there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. So I guess like we'll just have more um uh, building block quarries and stuff like that, which would be nice. Yeah, the idea is to make things a lot cheaper in order to encourage more buildings and sort of offset more the cost of TNT cannons. <laughs> all right. Sounds cool. Coin economy. I don't know the current iteration. I'll, I'm also talking about the current iteration in this meeting. We had these two coins in the trade, but they don't trade for anything. Why? Can someone explain why these? Who, who added these two trades? God knows. What do you mean? And if you want to flex, I guess you can. Uh... Let's just blame it on Darth. Oh, oh it's uh, it's actually Darth. Okay, good. Oh, the problem. Uh, well is they're not used for anything and... <laughs> yeah, Dorf, because Friesen and me just uh, made the trading actually worth trading and not insanely OP, so you have to grind 24-7. Mm-hmm. There were until some pe Pegas decided to do it. <laughs> well, I actually talked to the rest of the people, and I mean... The, uh, I mean the staff team, and they said, "Yeah, let's just make the weapons cheaper, uh, so people have to grind less, more war, because no keep inventory." I mean, we Bro. don't want guns to be expensive because then we don't have battles if keep inventory is off. 
I mean, unknown. And I know Darth, Darth's universal solution is to just keep inventory on, but that's no fun. True. And like, unknown. That has no, no cost associated with someone dying. Yeah, and would you want to spend two diamonds on a singular machine gun? No, I mean, I don't have a problem with spending two diamonds on a singular machine gun, because if keep inventory was on in Darth's theoretical fantasy land, uh, then yes, two diamonds for a machine gun would be perfectly acceptable. You only exactly. have to do it once. But the thing is, we don't have keep inventory, so do you still want to spend two diamonds on a singular machine gun that you can instantly lose by dying once? Yeah, no, that that was uh, that's a little bit less appropriate. Well, Darf, that's your opinion. I mean, we can oh, we can yeah. have keep inventory for certain parts of your inventory. We can keep armor or something like that. The other armor idea was to. Like the oh other yeah, idea we was to have a shared... armor. How about armor and cosmetics like bubbles? The other idea we had was to have sort of a shared like division inventory system where you could prepare ahead of time uh, ammo or guns or something so you just respawn with that all automatically. Actually, you created that, a loadout ahead of time. That sounds amazing. Depending on how much weapons and armor you crafted, you could just uh, respawn with that until it's out. Until, yeah. until there's nothing more on the stockpile left. Yeah, or until That's... your lives run out. That's something we could uh, implement and look into. That's a great idea. Yeah, but I, I still suggest keeping actual keep inventory off permanently. Yeah, ba basically any suggestion other than keep keep inventory on is acceptable. So, uh, income. So, are we just using the city part? So, we're just having one city gives, I don't know, well, some amount of income every day? Instead of actual actually having items to generate, which would like um, it, lag, just lag, I would suggest having a, a, like a uh, slash balance system where you can check your balance that you gain, and only the deficient leader can do that. So then when you go to spawn, then you can just do slash spawn and just fucking uh, have a sign, for example, that says buy set amount of end eye coins that would be a set amount of stuff, and then with set amount of end eye coins, you could buy. From a trade system or in spawn. Yeah, I mean this, this hasn't been finalized yet, but I think that would be the more logical solution yeah. instead of physical coins, just because the logistics of having to give coins when either a division leader joins in or whatever, just the logistics of that are a lot more complicated when it comes to physical item stacks. Yeah, exactly. So it might just make sense to have a division wide balance. That and only so a deficient leader can use, I would suggest. These coins could just be left for either, I don't know, physical trades or something. Flexing. I wouldn't remove them, but they probably wouldn't be as worthwhile anymore. Wait, how about, right, we add a balance cap so people can't just stack on millions. You actually have to uh, use these coins. So you used to put them in a city chest, and when people take that city, you can just yoink the coins for profit. So you have the city and the profit. Oh, that's pretty mm. genius. Sometimes my genius is frightening. Uh, it's not that frightening, but yeah. That that sounds like a great solution. As far as to, I don't know if I would go as far as to tie your economy to this, a city. But... Maybe. Just, I don't think that having a portion of your balance account tied to the, like, the stake of your city is necessarily reasonable. True. Like, I imagine you wouldn't, you wouldn't get any further income from that city once you've lost it. That makes complete sense, but having you lose money when you lose a city? No, 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 no. I, I just mean that if you... If you put, for example, these uh, end eye coins because you have a cap on your in-game balance, that you put them in set city, you just lose set coins. But if you put them in the capital, you just keep them until you run out of storage. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, but in that case, it doesn't doesn't really do anything. It kind of defeats the point because if they're gonna be kept in the capital anyway, it's not like. I mean, until you destroy the division, yeah, I guess. But that would also mean the division income would disappear. Exactly. So, 
I mean, so like I, the people who took over will get a new income. So I get, I yeah. So thinking that it's unnecessary. Yeah. So I guess the coins are just useless. I would just use a, a command type uh, balance that people can use, and we just, then we just use signs, uh, it, like with item frames we, uh, in spawn that we can just buy equipment and shit from. All right. So are there other ideas other than just having the income based on the the cities themselves, as in each city generates income. Maybe a battle. Maybe winning a battle gives you income. I mean, if you if you took over a city, you get their income too. So I feel like that's a little redundant. Yeah, true. Unless you're going to have like different income sources, like oh, killing a person gives you income or something like that. No, I suggested before, but that would just uh, be abusable because I could just get a friend online that's only my division and just repeatedly kill them over and over. Yeah, that's true. So I guess, yeah, just cities. Or, or how about what uh, other servers did? We add an area that's a uh, war zone that can't be destroyed, where we add NPCs that can be killed. <laughs> NPCs? Oh, that's just grinding. It's like, nah. Exactly. If it's if it's NPC, if you're fighting against NPC, you're just it's just mining. Armed NPCs. Ah. Uh, I I still feel like that's like, it's mine. It's grind craft. Skill issue. Nah, I feel like that's redundant. Just stick with the city income. Makes more sense. Somewhat. What? What? It's grind die or grind craft. What do you mean we're lazy? We we have lives, you know. Like, you know, we have we have lives. We can't be sitting on the computer in front. Of we okay. Hello there, British image. Well, well to be honest, um, Darf fucking uh, did nothing on Horizon Flans. Uh, I all made literally fucking everything because he was too lazy to craft anything and just shout out for um you know those immersive engineering mining machines he just shut out instant amount of them to shit out even more of them and then keep the i have the later card yeah, yeah, yeah sure buddy uh, okay oh, oh here's the thing proposal for inbs to be officially recognized somewhat so the in the inbs discord RP. We uh we got rid of like some of your complaints before unknown like political discussions. We archive that, and then obviously it'll just follow the rest of the anti rules, because I felt like maybe if we have like a channel on the main Discord that connects the INBS uh news channels, people can like the players can keep up to date with what's going on in the server, which possibly will make it more interesting. As in, there will be more activity implied. I mean, that's okay, more that. if uh, if Deck Tech wants to talk to me about that, since I think he's the owner of the of the Discord, then that's something we can arrange. Oh, he said it's. I uh, we've already talked with Deck Tech. I've already talked with him. He said it's not a bad idea. So I guess I could ask him to talk to oh, you I'll about, talk to it. about it. All right. So, uh, is there anything else to be mentioned before we move on to our discussions, like about the gameplay of Andai? I'm assuming not. Bringing in new players, so there were a couple of ideas. Uh, Hannibal's had had some advertising websites. We're probably gonna put like after the next iteration change, basically the transition starts. And I'll probably make anti videos again. Are there any other ideas on bringing new players? Actually, advertising on shit like uh, maybe Technic Launcher. I mean, I, I know Unknown fucking hates Technic Launcher with a burning passion. <laughs> yes, but, yes, that I do. Anyone who uses it is dead to me. <laughs> yeah, but still, it would encourage uh, encourage players to actually come to the server because if we somehow ended up on the trending page, people just fucking sh uh, just keep on coming. There's well, no but, way we're getting on the trending page. Yeah, first of all that, but also, do we really want stupid players? Because honestly, I don't blame unknown. Every technic user I've ever met uh, has to have probably been the most 
tech illiterate user I've ever seen. So... Uh, okay. Uh, I confirm that most of them are, have brain damage, but still, it would bring in new players, and that's what this uh, sure, but is aiming for, I guess. We need but... to bring in quality players. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, please. Now please. you're asking too you. much. Don't you're... quantity. Don't you're do quantity, CTP, okay? Don't do quantity over quality. That never goes well, okay? True, but <laughs> you're still asking too much. Um... <laughs> I mean, I agree with Doc, and that is pretty much uh, on, like, uh, deathbed, and it's just until the plug is pulled out. Mm -hmm. So we need new blood to actually keep the server running, I, and maybe, um, considering we're doing factions, maybe add uh, donation rings. No. Sure. Um, yes, I mean, I don't, sorry, that was a reflex. I, <laughs> I flashback to a horrible system on a server that shall not be named. I just immediately went, no, sorry. I, mean, uh, I have no idea what you mean with, by that. But I'm not thinking about pay to win. However, I know a way maybe we could up popularity what I've seen a lot of servers do, which is voting. If we add our server uh, IP with mod pack to a server, like a, a, a website, with multiple microservers, if we get f people to join and vote in game, they will get, for example, a vote key. And with the key, you can go to create and get random bullshit that you probably don't need. But still, wow, this meeting has went on for two hours. I can't believe it. Anyways, yes. recruiting new staff section. Yeah, we need to recruit more staff. They uh, Name more than five people that are competent in Endai, not including our current staff. Is our, is our current staff even competent? <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be a negative number, bro. I'm, I'm oh, not right. trying to be biased, but I mean, our staff team is more competent than Hanji. <laughs> oh, I, fair I enough. Mean, I mean, that doesn't qualify as a bar. <laughs> true. <laughs> it's very true. Uh, anyways, here, here's the goal. I expected more people to be here, like from the public, but apparently it's just Doc, yeah. SCP, who hasn't played for three years. Oh, Michael oh, Michael Crash Crash is here. And, and or British, British Maze is here. Uh, retiring inactive staff. Hmm. Retiring I mean, inactive staff. Oh, shit. Yeah, Dorothy are fired. <laughs> Goodbye, Darth. Let's, go. Let's fire Darth. That was a easy <laughs> decision, I guess. Bye bye. I mean, to be honest, there's a few amount that's inactive, but I'm not sure. I'm not the one to judge. Yeah, you're demoted to tiniest moderator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he left. He left the voice chat. He walked. Now, wait, who else joined in? Patrick's joined for a, f a while, and someone else joined in. Patrick was there for like a few seconds. I, I checked yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people who said they were interested are not here. Like, August is not here. KN, Grody is not here. Red is not here. Oh, well. We need... Yeah, so there's a staff application if anyone in this voice call is interested. Uh, I mean, people are saying we have to cut the staff team. I mean, I mean considering people how... People are inactive anyway, so it's like... Eh. True, but they probably have their reasons. Keep, nah, three, three people. Keeping three people, are you fucking we mentally can't... insane? Do You're you know insane. how much stress that puts it on those three people? Insane, bro. I pray for the three that have to deal with Hanji. Exactly! Just <laughs> dealing with Hanji alone needs five people. Yeah, but yeah, we need new blood in the staff team now. I mean, I do agree that maybe having some more staff team after, what, three, four years of the same people, I think we can do with some more uh, fresh yeah. staff. Yeah. I mean, th that's why we had the trainee role, right? I think at this point we've uh, we've arrived at exactly the same place where we were at when we began. We have space leaders back and Frizon's back. So <laughs> we've yeah, gone we're... full circle here. 
Yeah. I, I guess I'm like the only one new, uh, newer staff member. Yeah, true. That that is true. You're the only active newer. St- uh, MBT is pretty active too, but he's. I was he here before you or after? I don't remember. I joined when Austria was a thing, and unions. Hmm. I mean, MBT also joined unions. Anyway, should we post the staff Google form announcements? Can we just make sure that Hanji gets instantly tonight? I'll add it to the link somewhere. Alright. So, Ungnun will post that later. Okay, time to discuss the future of Andai. Including prospective mod additions. So, what we're looking for is some PvE aspects to cure boredom during slow days. And perhaps the PvE will give you the grind, like you said, fighting NPCs. I can't believe I actually wrote this myself. And yeah, vehicles and expansive weaponry. So one mod will be roguelike dungeons. So should we have like customized the loot to give you like useful stuff? That does sound fair. Maybe that's where we can bring in the Andai coins. Yeah, stuff like that. Or may- yeah, I mean adding Andai coins to certain loot pools regarding roguelike dungeons would make sense. That would also give a uh opportunity to use it and that coins at the same same time we would have to make sure that the mobs in the dungeons don't just get one shot by guns otherwise it's too easy just I increase your health by fivefold oh right. i mean bolt action rifles currently one shot anything same for automatic rifles uh so i guess at least doubling their health Yeah, all right, that makes sense. Bombs are plenty. I guess yeah, that's a I thing like for that. the new world generation. I mean, and it would be nice to have, like, uh, decide where you want to make your uh, nation, deciding on how nice the place looks. Yeah. And the goals of the factions reboot, keeping this in mind, what other mods are we looking for? Freeson, you know, it's a lie. Uh, I don't have anything else to add, to be honest. Oh, I... I think that's it, then. Do we miss out anything? So, I'm assuming, like, uh, uh, for the rule change, we'll have, like, a new rules document by the time we move on to the new iteration which will happen in around what time frame are we looking for time frame looking for is probably close to end of next week since uh kind of want to move forward with this sooner than later and oh, i don't really see a need to stretch out the planning process okay that sounds nice so what but is that i would Jeff? like to uh I would like to make sure that everyone's sort of on board with this and hear some feedback about the process itself, since me and MKB kind of came up with this concept individually. So I know that, Nerdy, you mentioned that you were concerned about the lack of roleplay. Yeah. And uh, some other things, so I'd just like to hear some more feedback. I don't know. I feel like it's not really a big problem anymore. To we'll see what I'm happens Convinced first. otherwise. Somewhat convinced. Because I also realized stuff regarding the competitiveness and more of the roleplay part is more based on the player base itself and like the community culture rather than strictly gameplay and rules. Some of it, yes, but I do agree that things like passports, for example, or perhaps uh, in division ranks or something that are things that we can do as well to improve it. Mm-hmm. So there are definitely features that I can add into Division Guard or implement other mods to improve it. Yeah. Wait, what did... Who said what? What does okay. Hanji want? Okay, so basically, Hanji wants to know what I said in voice chat, and I said that Hanji would be the absolute fucking worst staff member to have on this team. Oh, okay. Fight against Hanji Fonia. 
What's a phonia? <laughs> Phob- I think you meant phobia. I yeah. know, but but I, I am not letting this go. I am not letting this go. It's it's phonia. Let's not get derailed over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's just <laughs> continue. So yeah, uh, I guess if the iteration, the change is going to be- happen by the end of the next week, does that mean will we also get a new rules document by then? Hopefully. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully yes. Yeah, because the rules document is like a lot of things are outdated and honestly a lot of things are vague. It has been a quite a problem with I mean that's new why it seems a little more important to implement the fundamental rules into division guard protections or some other form of in game fun like something that's in game that's enforced. While oh, right. I guess all the nuances can be left to the rules document. But I highly doubt that anyone even ever reads the rules document unless they're looking to prove their own point. So <laughs> the rules document is kind of more of a formality than anything. Hmm. Like, can you name any single person who has actually read through the entire rules document aside from Nerdy, who's gone over with a fine tooth comb? If I didn't do it, yeah, I wouldn't think so. I have. Uh, I see, pe- people but... people are saying that they did. I, I'm not the only one who's obsessed with the okay, well, every staff, single I can believe every single wording of, of the rules. Would, uh, I can believe that staff have read the rules maybe once. I I Bruh. did read it once. Yes, that's cool. <laughs> why did why? Maybe I should just should I just like stop you know caring about like the technicalities of the rules caring about the rules yes clearly (laughs) that's the solution here i I feel like i'm the only one who's like cares about like every single wording and maybe i'm being too picky well no i mean unnecessary you prepared a whole presentation i think that's first of all pretty sick but also i don't know a little it's not overkill but i mean i was impressed to say the least (laughs) All I mean, right, you put in so much know. effort just for almost no one who was interested to showing up besides <laughs> staff team. This no, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be a lawyer. Basis. There's there's just few professions that I'm just staying out of. Yeah, but they just I think that just shows the dedication for our player base. Uh, but we'll see what happens. And so, when are we announcing the fact that we're going to have those changes next end of next week? I mean, do we just the, depending on how active everyone is, maybe two weeks, yeah. because we only have the weekends. I mean, I only have the weekends because I have to work every day besides, you know, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, my Chinese New Year break ends this weekend. I'm going back to school next Monday. It's sad. Uh. Oh yeah, because this is in relation to the advertising. As in, should we bring new players in like right now in oh, time no. for the new iteration? No. Adding no. new players now, in my opinion, is a bad idea. The thing is, we don't really have any active players left at all, right? Like at I the mean, current we have moment. Doc. Right, well, Doc, can't, as much as I appreciate Doc, he can't single-handedly save the server by. Yeah. True. <laughs> I mean, he has huge props. He has huge props for maintaining activity, and uh, I uh, gotta give that. True, but true. I think here, how about this? Because there's never going to be like the golden opportunity of when we should advertise, but we should at least implement some of these changes by the end of next week. Uh, announcing these changes, I think, by the end of this weekend at the latest. Um. I think All that right. should make sense. So we announced the changes this week. I can put together uh, as long as we have a finalized picture, that is. So we get like the full mods list full of sorted out and see where Division Guard is at. Um, let's I, also I, add like a fact document so people don't have to constantly ping staff 24-7 when they join from the like... Uh, explain this. Oh. Oh, I mean, I'm, 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 I was creating a guide. I forgot to put it in the Google Slides. So, do you guys have any suggestions to put in the Google, like the Google Docs, the Andi guide I'm making? I, I'm already putting a section on the Andi industry mod, and a section on like basic introductions of like how Andi works. But what well, are some nerdy, specific things? Uh, nerdy, just like British made shit. Who will actually read a document? 
If it's well, too long, like maybe not. Some people will read it. Or you can make it a video. People love watching videos. Yeah. True, sure. sure. I'll, I'll, I'll make a video. I'll make a video. I'll make a video. I'll make a video. Yeah. So maybe either a video, video guide. Yeah, or something just in Discord because people prefer reading shit in Discord instead of opening a document. The because thing people... is, I don't know. I personally prefer like documents because they're faster to read than watching entire Same. videos. But knowing other players, they are lazy sex with shit, so they wouldn't even open. Make document. it an entire video as long as it's under two minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So their feeble minds can uh, uh, yeah, uh, like just have jump it. cuts every other second. <laughs> yeah, and you're Mind boom sound fine. effects as well to keep their attention high. True, true. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Let's, let's make a TikTok music, music let's, from let's, the let's, same let's website. Let's make a TikTok uses. guide video. Also, make sure to use Bandicam and an X Windows XP background. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's actually pretty, pretty free mood, music though. that everyone uses. The fucking ukulele thing. Just go to like incompetech.com and download all of their MP3s <laughs> at once and mash them together. Audio oh, that, that's a personal attack. I actually have done <laughs> that like a long time ago. I have a, I have a folder with like a of gigabyte yes. of all the yes. music from incompetech.com. So just together, make it a video. Done. Guys, can I add something real quick? Um, yeah. SCP-09. Six wants to add this meeting to a YouTube uh, video, like upload it to YouTube. Uh, Wait, what do you say? He wants to upload this meeting to YouTube. What do we say? Who? Uh, SCP zero nine two nine six. I think that's fine. Oh, so I mean, yeah. sure. But yeah, uh, why not? Wait, that would actually allow people who didn't join to rewatch it. So their feeble minds could still uh, hand what we were talking about. See, when you say feeble minds, it doesn't make you sound as good. I know, that's why I'm saying it. Maybe we should bring back the Andai YouTube channel. I could bring that back. That we sounds have... like, yeah. I made one be with DeckTech before. Didn't the only post there was something to do with, like, I don't remember. There was one video. I think I, think I deleted teasers. it. But we could bring it back. SCP, could you like send a video to me so I could like upload it to an Andai YouTube channel? Wait. Oh no, didn't you have your personal YouTube channel for Andai? Uh, well, I do have a YouTube channel, yes, that I upload oh, miscellaneous yeah. content yeah. to. You were like shit posting uh, teaser trailers and stuff, and also actual trailers. Good times, yes. Yes, I remember and actual that. meaningful tutorials that people <laughs> have watched approximately two and a half minutes of, even though they're 20 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the, the, the shit post teaser of the, the truck, the gas. Yes. <laughs> hmm. All right. So is there anything else? All right. Something that was uh, mentioned earlier that we missed, uh, what the time period should be. That and the whole idea was sort of something... Post-apocalyptic, perhaps. This isn't solidified, of course. But Ooh, For the next iteration? Yes. Or the one after the map change? After so the map next change. iteration. Yeah. I mean, post-apocalyptic would give us a lot of, like, uh, free space. I mean, depending on the mods that are on there, like, having a Cold War iteration with uh, the no future stick in this stream mod is not really that good of an idea so post-apocalyptic would also make sense with the dungeon thing because like mutated animals and shit right? if they would spawn there yeah yeah i mean I, this so way i suggest do, but we can't regenerate the map until at least end of april true true yeah so i guess we were just continuing the ears for now until april yeah. Well, we could do the alternative, and we could progress to World War Two, and then Cold War up until we get to uh, April, and then reset for post-apocalyptic. That would work, yeah. I mean, that would be nice. Yeah. Do we do have we enough work? weeks for that though? Because right now it's one year per week. So. Dude, it's it, yeah. I guess maybe we should add like maybe two years per week. That was crazy. <laughs> oh well. 
So I guess we'll make Andai videos and stuff. Yeah, maybe um, we should actually upload videos. I got OBS ready, even though my PC is uh, the definition of dog shit. Yeah, well, we should definitely decide the time period, though. True, true. It's not um, kind of integral. 1984. 1984 because we're yeah, resetting the map anyways, I guess we could just continue with World War One for now. I, Unless... I think unknown means a time period for the new server. But World War One's a little bit limiting in terms of the tech we can have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could, World War Three would allow us to have more tech, but that's kind of overdone. And then we could also have post-apocalyptic, but that would limit tech again. So are we going to skip like a, f a decade? Maybe just go into World War Two now. World War Two would give us a little bit more headway, I guess. I mean, Cold War would give us nuclear energy on <laughs> Tiberian generators. Well, actually, mm. Tiberium is, uh, was not a thing until, uh, I don't know, let me just look up Command and Conquer lore, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can morph the Command and Conquer lore to fit the Andai lore. Because Perfect. if you look at the Andai lore with the amount of resets we've had, we could rival Red Alert 3. Oh, <laughs> true. that sick. How many times oh, did they go back in time to go and stop Hitler? I mean, in that <laughs> case, in that case, though, I request a Kane mob. Otherwise, I'm not playing. I mean, the Which amount mode? of times I've been role playing as Hitler is n unsettling. Like, how many World War Two iterations do we have? Too uh, many. More than <laughs> we can count. <laughs> yeah, true. Probably at least five. At least five, probably more. Well, we so had the right original right. one, the one after that. And the, how many fascists German nations? The one after the have? Cold War. We have the the nerdies World War II server. Then we have the last one that happened. So I don't know. Yeah, five or something. Yeah, and every single one had at least one fascist Germany or any fascist country. I mean, would Cold War really be different? They always find a way. True, true. <laughs> they always implement fascism any way possible. Will the current land claim be kept into next iteration? Like before the map be reset, reasonable. probably yes. Yeah. I mean, since we want to keep the the spirit of the current map. I mean, that but we're gonna add like uh, non-existing factions too, right? The this iteration. Ones? Yeah, f yeah. For next iteration, like if we do, for example, post apocalyptic, um, it would I mean, make sense. If we, if we. How about this? How about we have fictional ones after we reset the map? Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like, what I think Doc's asking if we will keep this uh, map for next iteration. Until end of April, right? I think We're that's keeping what Doc's this map asking. And everything he was asking on about you. land claims. Oh, Land I'm... claims, I feel, would be reasonable enough to keep as is, so that we don't because resetting land claims without resetting the map would be weird. I feel like if we uh -huh. just keep the land claims as is for now, it would be reasonable. Yeah, true. Until we at least reset. So, so the at the end of the next week, we have Division Guard updates. Or are there other mods that are going to be added to the server? Like yeah, we should, we should definitely uh, add more mods by that point, so have a finalized mods list. And we should test them in case um, bugs or, you know, exploits like, um, like crawl. Which, like which mods? Well, I suggested modular turrets. We um, have a list of mods in the PDF that was published for staff. It was? Uh, but but like, that was but dungeons that was like and stuff would a... be after the map reset, right? Yeah. Right. And I'm assuming, like, Division Guard Industry could replace Immersive Engineering, unless we're bringing Immersive Engineering back. Um, let's uh, not let's add see. Immersive Engineering. I would rather have Ice Industrial Craft 2 than Immersive Engineering, because just how unbalanced the excavators are. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we could nerf or ban the excavators for what little that's worth. Why don't we just 
increase the power usage on excavators so much they almost become unusable. No, but why the excavator? Why is that OP? <laughs> why? Because, because they give you millions shit. of ores. Yeah. Well, I mean, but that's kind of sick. You know? I can I mean, shit out more ores in Minecraft than I can in Stellaris. And that's a big leap, my guy. Mm. Well, too bad. That sounds like a you problem. Uh, uh, skill issue. Skill, skill oh. issue. Okay, we have two. We have two people in the in the camp. We have immersive engineering is unbalanced, and immersive engineering we need. That's uh, why I went well, for the middle ground. I, I see personally two. would prefer if just division guard industry like just works well. And I mean, believe be me, simple. I would, I would, I would definitely want that too. But there's a limit <laughs> to how much we're going to be able to accomplish in a week, and. Yeah. I uh speaking for myself personally, I have a finite understanding of what industry we need and how to balance all of it. Because it's it's an easy thing to say, hey, we need industry, but with the suggestions channel, no one's actually pointed out what industry they want. I mean like we have power generation, that's cool. We have an industrial furnace, that's cool. We have a cobblestone generator and a quarry that's in the works. What else do people actually want from an industry mod? Oh, sand generator, sand. We need sand, okay. clay. Have, the auto crafter is coming soon. <laughs> all, all sorts of building block generators. Building block generators. So basically, the free creative block to uh, trades, but industry. Yes, but but industry exactly. Right. Okay. So the so the <laughs> solution here is everything free, but industry. Yes. <laughs> wow. No, oh, of that course was easy. not. But okay, still, that, that clears things up. Industry <laughs> will be done in twenty-four hours. I know it will be good for industry. Why don't we just add vehicles for industry? That sounds like a great well, plan. Vehicles we're working on. Vehicles we have. We even have vehicles. We can. Uh, heck, we can add in the the World War Two Jeep if we go to if we go to Cold War. Well, I mean, we should definitely at least add a Subaru Impreza to a uh, Cold War. That seems like it would fit. I mean, we have the OBJ for that from Division Guard. True. And of course, they had Subaru Impresses in Cold War. Exactly. We forget. Those were the modified technicals used in uh, 1980 uh, something. And we something. also get guns that actually work. What's wrong with the current guns? 